Hello everyone, this is Steve Sims here. So I'm trying something new here. I will be, while I'm taping my time lapse, I will be describing slightly what we're doing. Just normal operations like I'm farming. So if you don't like this, you can always just watch the time lapse. Or if you don't like the time lapse, you could always just watch this and see what's going on on all the farms that we have. So this is our new series on aggravation. Uh, this just came out recently. Uh, I never got to play this when I was in Farming Simulator 17, so just never got around to it. So I decided to play it here, and it's a nice big map where I can use big equipment. That's how I like playing. So at first we will fertilize. I believe that's field 12. Needs fertilizer. And I don't know exactly what else we'll get into. Obviously we'll keep busy. So this is the 4045 from Buster's Community. Same as this uh, fertilizer tank here. So you can get it off the Buster's Community Facebook site. So I really enjoy it because you can basically put a whole bunch of different uh, attachments on it. This is an odd shape field. Or if course play will be able to fertilize this. So if you don't already know, I really like playing with course play. So I kind of enjoy freaking getting to the managing side of Farming Simulator. So I like creating course play, seeing what I can get course play to do. It's entertaining to me. So course play just recently changed. Which is, I kind of like it. So this is you kind of see what you're doing here. Of course, we're gonna need some headlands because we are right on the border. So, which I don't know exactly how that'll do, but we'll see. Sure, we'll see what that gets us. Don't know, I think it may over here end up getting in the trees, but we'll see how it goes. Start at first waypoint. don't know if we'll save that course. We'll see. We may uh, end up having to do this on our own. While our hired help is getting that done, we'll jump back over here. And we got some canola to harvest. We got our case combine here, American version. Yeah, I believe this is American version. So this is the uh, 9240. Big old girl. So we have a McDon 45 foot header. So just got this. Unfortunately, the wheels don't work, or I'm an idiot. One of the two, so I can't get them to work. I really wish they did because I really enjoyed having this McDon header, especially I think it'd be good for the John Deere combine because of the header. Get this unfolded here. For 
first time using the McDon header, so hopefully it works good. I believe that's in my the description below if you want this, so it's down there. Like I said, comment if you know how to get the wheels out, because I can't figure it out. I don't know if it's a trigger that you have to do outside the combine. But it also has a, I see, so usually the spread radius of the combine is off the header, so if you can see it's spreading as it's a 25 foot, which I really don't care about, but something to be aware of. That's why I like my inspector mod up there in the top left corner. I get to make sure my hired worker over there isn't running off the map or in the trees burning up all the fertilizer. There he goes. Appears he's doing everything's working all right. We will uh, probably get a course play later on for this. Got a few more jobs to do around the farm. Pretty busy, like always when you first start out a map. Get a nice little thumbnail picture here. Beautiful combine. Like this side right here may be able to just use the hired helper right here. That would be nice. Don't have to worry about the derpiness of course play. Might hire a worker and uh, jump over and get our wagon to unload course created. in our old trusty 7250 here so this is basically old American iron right here spent many hours and a 7140 when I was growing up many many hours this tractor has sentimental worth to me Wagon unload course created here.
So I don't exactly know where the trigger is for this bin set here, so... Hopefully it is right here. Need to be careful not to get un under the unload auger because course play does not like that. So course play hits another trigger, obviously it goes on dirt mode which crashes your game. No one likes that type of stuff. Looks like a good course. What field is this again? This is field 15. don't know, Course Play also has Pathfinder. I believe I have that on. Course Play kind of changed up where they have everything. Yeah, path Pathfinding activated so it will try to not drive over the non-combine field. That correctly. Looks like my combine turned around successfully. And left, uh, well, we'll have to end up cleaning that up right there. That's fine. At least it didn't run into a tree. going we will get in our this is a 8530 John Deere nice little tint job on this thing got a pretty nice interior kind of like how this thing sounds I don't know what it is with this, if it's a building, because I use this same shed on other uh, maps and I didn't do this, but it just threw everything around in there. I had that all parked straight, trust me. Now it's all everywhere. So these are the fields we own. We own field 15 right here. Of course, we own the farm. Ended up buying the pond, even though it's worthless, basically, because uh, nostalgia I needed to put a few brushes in there just to beautify all the beautif beautification of the area, sorry. And field 12 we have. Field 9, uh, then this is an open grass field, I don't know exactly what we'll do with that yet, and then here's another field. Uh, I th we're going to get into poplars too, so I'm thinking about, this is a good field for poplars, so I might end up putting nice straight rolls because poplars, so we're going to roll some poplars there, so. I just like to get into that, something new, see how it is. And also we're going to get into cotton farming. So, got that too. Oh wait, I was going to see if this did plow. It does not need plow. So it's fertilized. So we can expand this area right here. So we can do that.
good sounding John Deere here. See what's what the stupid, yo, stupid. Can't find good help anywhere anymore. It's probably because there's a slight lip of trees up there and it just caught the header while I was trying to turn around, so it's what when the fields ain't straight but to me, I don't like straight fields. It's it kind of boring. It's more exciting to, and more realistic. You have curvy, realistic fields because majority of the fields, even where I grew up, the nice flat plains of Nebraska, most of them aren't completely straight, so. Do a little fly mode here. Do a cool little intro. So, J, Q. I bumped it there. know in the comments if you would like to see anything on this series because I'm always open. Obviously I'm going to try certain stuff. Always want to try new things. 
experience and let's just face it doing the same thing over and over again gets boring so I'd like to keep you guys entertained as much as I possibly can so my idea is obviously I still have a full-time job so that's 50 60 hours a week usually so I'm having a hard time keeping out four videos a week and I'd like to extend that but I just don't have no more time because I have my family life too and I enjoy stuff like fishing and everything so that takes a most of my free time almost takes it all so just experiment with this this is going to be I'll have a short little video explaining basically while I'm taping the time lapse just explaining what we're doing this day on the farm uh, and then you probably might not even notice this during the time lapse so either or if you this way if you don't like watching time lapse you like you know more of a let's play series you can watch this listen to the sounds and the engines and all the noises of farming simulator even though some of them have been slightly uh, let's say messed up by giants recently but they still you know are pretty close to real life thing so if you like this or you could just continuously watch the time lapse or you can watch both so hopefully you enjoy this if not just let me know in the comments so I'm open to constructive criticism you're never going to get better if you can't accept that so and I like to get better at this because I enjoy playing Farming Simulator. So if I wasn't doing this, I would be playing it anyways. You see out there in the distance, our uh, hired hand is doing the uh, circle of death, of course, play. Spin, spin, spin until he dies. Wonder where he's trying to get there. We'll have to go fix him. He's good. He might burn a little fuel there. He's not letting out any fertilizer, so we're not losing too much money. Get over here. Hopefully our Hired hand can not bull rush the combine this time. Be gentle, hired hand. And we'll fix uh, Mr. Wanderer over here. Just what and where are you doing? So I may get into root crops later on in the series, but we just don't have the money right now. So guess what? They're getting dissed up. Are you unloading?
Uh, you're filling off the edge, but you'll do. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. It's all going in the tank, trust me. We're making pretty good off of this uh, canola. Seems to be yielding pretty good. Sorry. Make sure you're set right. There you go. Appears we'll ride in this combine a little bit more. So I think we will stop it about there. So Basically, in this episode, or let's play, or time lapse, I'm not for sure what to call it, sorry. We'll most likely finish harvesting the canola. We will also uh, try to disc up our field nine. We heart fertilized field 12. Well, hopefully at least, the hired hand did. So, nice little start out to this series. I, I'm really enjoying this map. Very beautiful. Very open, big fields. So, very, even though it's not really an American map, it has the feel of it. That's what I enjoy. So, come back and join us next time so we also have I have three active series right now I have uh, Deerland that's uh, Modern Welts uh, Edit uh, Ravenport and also I have I'm playing on New Woodshire that's a feedlot series so that's a series I'm joined to so come join us on either of them too so like comment and subscribe thanks for watching Hey YouTube, this is Steve-O Sims here. I could really use your help. So like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for helping the channel grow.